Good morning. Good welcome, morning. welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Waggy's travel. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that one, was you? No. Um, this is day two of married life. Yep. And she hasn't killed me yet. No. No. Uh, spent most of yesterday uh, heading to Mansfield to take my son home uh, and today it is just us um, we still got uh, Megan and Frank. Frank in the house we've but woken up to uh, snow on the mountains snow on the mountains so we'll, I'll show you that before but today we're off to a, uh, a railway which is about um, 14 miles from where we're staying near Barmouth um, it begins with a T, Tallinn, Tallinn Railway. You got a clue of you. There is a Fairbourne Railway, which is literally just around the corner. I'm in love with this house. It's gorgeous, isn't it? We yeah. are. I mean, definitely want to come back here again yeah. if I can organise another family trip. Yes. So anyway, um, we're just about some breakfast, and then we are going to head off out to um, the railway. So. Um, a, a normal waggish travel. Not quite normal, is it? Why is it not normal? Because I'm a waggy as well now. It's, oh, you're officially a wag? Yes. Yes. So, it's only been two years in the making. Mm. So, We're here at last. We are. Um, we've got to say, we had an absolute ball, didn't we? The, the, the night before the wedding, it was just absolutely, the house was absolutely packed. It's a party house. <laughs> yeah, uh, the house was absolutely packed. And um, it was kind of funny because the actual wedding night was, um, <laughs> not the wedding night, the night of the wedding at the party, it was all very... Um, the, the Monday had been the party night. Yeah, definitely. The, the wedding eve. Yeah, so anyway. Of course, I'm, I'm, I came down with a cold, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And um, I still can't seem to shift it. It didn't stop you looking stunning, though. Thank you, darling. We'll be back when we get to the railway. Well, we did say the next time you see us, it'd be on the train. Um. And we're on one. Trouble is, I can't. I can't pronounce the name of the railway. I can't pronounce. I can't pronounce the name of the railway. <coughs> Can you? You <coughs> can't say the word for for an hour. <laughs> we're on. We're on this railway. Yeah. I'm taking this off. Just going to come out. All right. So this is a view from our window. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, oh, maybe. And there's, there's a rust on in the corner. That's the rust in the I know. Hang on a minute. Let's turn you around. Oh. We must be getting this must be the, the works area. Is it the station? No, this is this is in the oh, a, a workshop. Workshops. Limit of shunt. <laughs> oh, but look at the views. Look at them views of the trees. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You're spoiled that you have feet, to be fair. 
Touche. <laughs> Your response the fact that I love this too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really. It's quite a bit. All we need is a campsite now. That's on this line, that'd be great, wouldn't it, if you had a campsite? It's no hardship for me to be spending time on a steam train. Train, no. I can't believe the weather we've had, and then now we've got this. I know, it just it's been a shame for our It's guests. a shame that all of our guests didn't get to see this. But, um, oh, not to worry, not to worry. Oh, can you see that? Uh, look. So this was a real like last last minute thing, wasn't it? Last night. Oh, hang on, hand over that side. Yeah, this was a last minute thing um, when we decided what we were going to do. Oh, so you're dark here. That's it. Uh... No, let's keep going. So I just made a joke. About all we need is a campsite, and I couldn't get the camera out in time. But we've actually just passed a campsite with its own station. Yes, absolutely. Oh, God, This is most welcome. This is absolutely most welcome. of it. A, what? a passing loop or a sidings or something. How far does it go? I have absolutely no idea. So it looks like we might be arriving at the station that's got the um, canteen. Yeah.
seen another dog. Winnie. <coughs> so when we get back, we're going to have some food. Unlike us. Unlike us to eat. Mm. Yeah. Right. Mm. We'll, um, we'll show you when we get back. See the loco. Watching it now. I've just noticed that the name of this is Tom Rolt. Uh, Tom Rolt, if I'm right, it's got something to do with the canals. What a lovely, lovely little loco. Station, I can't pronounce. In Wales. I can do that bit. 
We've got about 15 minutes before the train leaves. I'm going to go and get tissue. Back in a minute. So, um, assume that when we sort of got here, we'd be here for, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, but no, uh, you're actually here for about 15. Um, what did I want to eat? Yeah, mm. Luckily enough, we were first up. How long did it take me to eat it? Uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, it was probably 15 minutes. Oh, anyway. I've got indigestion now. I had cauliflower soup. Yeah. cauliflower soup. And a coffee. I had a coffee. No, I had a coffee. You, you, you haven't had a drink. No. I just wanted to see if you can go to that. Where's that cake place we went to before? Mm, but there's a little town where we were. There might have a little cake place. Not like that place. Oh, you want to go to that little cake place? Mm -hmm. Is it out of our I don't know. I can't I'm thinking it was. Anyway. Um, yeah. We're in the house for some of our own today. Mm -hmm. back. Yeah. So we're going to run around. No. <laughs> but they'll go under what's going on. So, uh, some footage on all the way <laughs> There we go. Time for some footage and some scenery. We'll keep quiet.
Oh, it's a museum. Uh, it says no food and drink. It doesn't say nothing about no. It did say dog friendly, so. Is it practical? Oh, it's having a bad hair day. Mm. Yeah. Fire in the lake here. Check some water into the boilers. I've just had to change cameras because the GoPro's run out of uh, power. Really should have bought one with me. Spare battery that is. Anyway, this is a museum. What is it you've just said? It doesn't have to be, um, doesn't have to be pretty. No, that first one. Yeah. It doesn't have to be pretty, just practical. Induction compression power exhaust. There you go. Sorry? I said you ruined that. You told me the engine before we got there. A spoiler. It's not really. It's when I start telling you the firing orders for yeah. four, six, eight, and twelve. Oh, look! Wedding's on the train. You missed that. Where? It changed. Uh, it's just come out a bit with that, and you can see a bit more. So it's definitely a bit chilly in here. Hunslet Loco Company. Hunslet. Oh, all right. Oh, this is a slight one. Oh, yeah. And it is that powered. It must be. It's a host wagon. Host wagon. Oh, what a name for a loco, look at that. Mm. That kind of sun's weaning up, doesn't it? Rough pup. There, it's a little five inch um, live steam. I only have a seven and a quarter inch, sorry, live steam. Wow, should we go upstairs? Let's have a look up here. Look at that. The man who invented Thomas the Tank Engine. So, we've all heard of Thomas the Tank Engine. Well, most of us have heard of Thomas the Tank Engine. And um, it was the Reverend Audrey that, um, that created Thomas for his children. What I've just found out is that it was actually based upon this railway. And at the railway, they have the original hand-built Thomas, the one, the very first one that it all comes from. Um, and one of the board of trustees has just taken the time to explain to us um, absolutely everything about it. And it's, it's a 
fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. What was really funny was that he said that the... Did you point out which ones are which? I have. I've just pointed out... that I've just taken... Well, I'm going to, I'll, show you, I'll, I'll show you in a minute his actual layout. Um, the, actual, the original Thomas is here. Um, it's not the first engine he built. It, no, it wasn't the first. It was the second. The first one is Henry... Edward. Edward. I thought that's why I'd come back to help yeah. you. So, the memory anyway. but what he did say is that the one of the American companies that took over the name, because obviously Thomas is copyright, tried to take the railway to court when it was pointed out that it was written on and based here and they have every right to use it without fee. Well, they didn't tell them how to prove it until they got to court, did they? Yeah, they did, they? And then their solicitor said, if you turn to the back of the book, <laughs> it says that the books are based on this railway station. <laughs> Which is brilliant. That's a really bad day in court, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, like, so they're lost, basically. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, here, here is the original. Here it is. That model there is the first ever hand built Thomas the tank engine and was built by the Reverend Audrey. Here, around here, is oh that one there? The green one. The green one is Henry. No, it's Edward. Edward. Edward was the very first one he built. And those two carriages are Clarice okay. and <laughs> I can't remember what the other Oh anyway. And and the um, diesel. Is it Boko? Uh, Boko and Bear, that blue one. Boko and Bear. That one, that is the only one that wasn't no, no, built. That one featured, oh, featured, yeah. featured in two, but it wasn't built. Everyone, everyone, the rest of them here have been hand built. Oh, that bitch. So. And here is his, that the typewriter is the original typewriter that he used to type his sermons. Absolutely brilliant. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, Lisa's calling me. Here we go, here we go. Come on. He wrote other books, but Linda the Beacon wrote. Oh, wow. So, that's brilliant. We just learned something. Oh, excuse me. We've just learned something. Let's go and spend some money in the shop, shall we? 